I'm being serious. What in the world was that? That game was off. Ugh. Here's Cook, bouncing it, end zone, what a start, touchdown Vikings. First down from the 30, Roethlisberger with protection, downfield, caught, touchdown Steelers, Washington. On third down, Roethlisberger is sacked by Harrison Smith. recap this game let's put it this way was an absolute stinker it was literally the toilet bowl like i said the last game was uh, like i said in the preview and yeah it really was um the vikings i'm no offense but they will not win in the playoffs i'm sorry any vikings fans if you think you will you're not going to and here's why this team will not finish games they were up 20 what was it 29 nothing yeah they're up 29 to nothing in the, at the half they blew that lead. They almost blew that lead. They scored, They were outscored 28-7 to seven in the second half. Not going to win games by doing that. There's a lot of teams in the NFL. The, be, the oh, sorry, top five teams in the NFL that can finish. Top five teams. Bucks can finish. Rams can finish. They're not top five record-wise, but they can. Cardinals. Packers. I won't say the Cowboys because they have blown some leads. And then, I don't know, the Patriots. Those five teams can Finish games. If you can finish games, you'll win games. That's how it works. But either way, final score is 36-28. Uh, Steelers fall 6-6-1. Six, six, and one. They have a, uh, they're just been rough year for them. Uh, Vikings 6-7. and seven. They got a big win. They need to keep winning, though, if they want to have a chance of making the playoffs. Got to keep playing well. Well, they didn't play well in the second half, but they were good the first half. Either way, be Big Ben, 28-40, 308, three touchdowns. Uh, uh, pick. Pick was not a bad pass. Like, really wasn't. Wasn't a good pass, but it wasn't a bad pass. So don't think the pick was that really that bad. Najee Harris was really efficient, but they got down, so he only had 20 carries. We had 94 yards and touchdown. One of his best games, I'd say. Cheese Claypool, 8 for 93, good game. He did celebrate at the end, though. It was really stupid because they might have actually had a chance of score tying it. Probably not, but maybe. DeAndre Johnson had another decent game. Uh, James Washington, good job. Uh, Pat Fryermuth, he is a reliable tight end, if you didn't know that by now. Najee Harris had, an, had literally the biggest catch of the game in the fourth quarter for a touchdown. Other than that, though, the Steelers' offense wasn't great. I'll give them an underscore. They came back, but they, they it was a lot of it was in garbage time. The Vikings just weren't good. I won't give them a minus because they did score 28 points. They bet had a decent game. Najee Harris had a good touchdown. I'll give them some credit. They did come back, but I can't really give them what they want. Uh, either way, other than Akello Withers, who had two picks and was just all over the field, Minka just, he did not hit the lanes right. Him, Minka Fitzpatrick was really bad. No offense, that's his worst game I've seen him play. It was all on the film. He got roasted twice. Once because he didn't go over and double uh, Justin Jefferson. The other time was when KJ Osborne got over the top and he just didn't get there in time. No offense to any of you Minka Fitzpatrick fans, but he was awful. Not a good game. Alex Highsmith, like, no pressure. They didn't get a sack. Other than a couple of other two, no one really played well. They couldn't stop the run. Like, they did. They were actually really not that bad. Other than, like I said, Minka Fitzpatrick. TJ Watt being out hurts them. I'll give them a minus because they did give up 36 points. It, this team, needs, their defense needs to play exceptionally well if they want to win games. Because, no offense, their offense is not good enough to stay in games. It's just how it's going to be. But then for the um, Vikings offense, like, I really don't know what to say other than Kirk Cousins really didn't have a good game. 14 of 31, he wasn't very accurate. Two, two picks is what I really saw. Two touchdowns, he had a one good pass. 216, he could have had three touchdowns. He just wasn't that efficient, but it did help that <laughs> Dalvin Cook was averaging over uh, 7.5 yards per carry. And if you didn't know, that's three-fourths of the way to a, over three-fourths of the way to a first down. 27 for 205, two touchdowns. He was awesome. Run the ball for over 200. They did that with Dalvin Cook. I like that. 20 plus targets to Justin Jefferson. They practically threw to him the whole game. No offense. They kind of just did that. No turnovers. Like, Kirk had two picks. Didi Westbrook, he was on the field. He didn't do nothing. 
he just was not good. Irv Smith, same thing. He was just not. Oh wait, what am I saying? Not Irv Smith. Uh, D.D. Westbrook. My bad. Uh, my bad with the preview. It was actually kind of bad on me. So yeah, their offense gets an underscore. No, they get a plus. They ran the ball so well. I really don't care. Um. Other than the fact they couldn't really pass the ball in the second half, I am okay with it because he, Dalvin Cook had such a good game. But they can't, he's not going to have that game every week. So, they got to realize that. Uh, the defense had one, two, three, four, five sacks a pick. I, other than a couple plays, like where Xavier Rhodes got cooked, or even Patrick Peterson, I'm giving them an underscore under 20 points. They didn't do that. 20 plus pressures, they definitely did that. Stop and, uh, stop the run. I don't know if they got 20 pressures, but they, they got over 10. Definitely know that. Stop the run, too. They didn't really stop the run well, but they did kind of get away from it. Uh, Patrick Jones is not a starting power player, obviously, but he just was really bad. Their defense, though, I will give them an underscore. They weren't great. They were really bad in the second half, but they, they, they did their job. Offense was okay. This was, Like, both teams played okay. Just a terrible game, like, overall, though. You don't want to see this from teams. Because it's like, if, if this happens in the playoffs, it's not going to be it's not gonna be good quality football. Like, Steelers, if they make the playoffs, they're going to get blown out in the first round. Same thing with the Vikings. Cause the, these teams, e even if they get a lead, they're not going to hold it because they're just not good enough. Sorry if I said all that rambling. Either way, guys, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the week the 14 Thursday Night Football recap. We got the big preview, week 14 uh, um, pre uh, preview keys to the game tomorrow. But that's the end of the uh, Thursday Night Football recap for week 14. We got a couple of big games this weekend. Hope you guys like it. Got the preview tomorrow. Hope you guys like it. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.